Well, hi there. We are back in the dining room revisiting the Electrolux Contour Z 1410. It's had all the work done to it. I fixed all of its little problems and foibles. So let's review what was done and then we'll take it into the lounge and do some cleaning with it. As you'll recall, when the contour arrived, it wasn't in too bad a shape, actually. Um, the con condition of the cleaner was actually quite nice. There's no like real bad um, marks or scratches to the body. It's all really good. I mean, for, what, what is it now, 28 ye years old? Not bad. I've seen a lot worse. So I didn't really have to do much physically to it. But what I did do was give it a really good service, took it apart, sorted out how, um, the um, chassis alignment here. Um, and also I found that um, this section, this panel, uh, which is part of the motor cover, wasn't actually in place properly. It had sort of come apart down, down there, so it wasn't lined up, which uh, was part of the reason why the cover here was sort of poking up, because this was pushing it up out the way. And also the fact that uh, there were two screws missing. So it had its two screws here, but the two screws on the um, rear sides were gone. They, they were just not there. I don't know what happened to them. Maybe somebody took it apart at some point and forgot to put them back in. Who knows? So um, I did that, um, serviced the motor, took it all apart, uh, lubricated the bearings, cleaned the filters, gave it a really good clean inside. Oh, clean the fans as well. It's always important to clean the fans on these cleaners. Well, I say clean the fans, I cleaned the fan. Um, there are two fans, but um, because it's, it's an Electrolux sealed motor where the... Um, armature is pressure fitted to the fans. You can only access the top fan, the the first fan. You can't get to the second stage fan, which is a real pain in the bum, frankly. Sometimes they are so bad that uh, you have to submerse the whole section of the motor in water, leave it to soak, and then hope that it actually cleans off the dirt. Didn't have to do that in this one. It wasn't quite that bad. So it sounds much, much smoother now. It runs really well. Great suction, I will say, it's got great suction. It's only a 600 watt motor, but yeah, really good suction for it. And it works beautifully, but we'll see it going shortly. There was one thing that um, I wanted to clear up on this. I got it wrong, basically. Uh, this happens frequently, as you as you know, if you're a regular viewer to this channel. This particular machine, it's actually a Mark 1.5 contour. So it visually looks the same as the original cleaner from 1990. But actually, this is um, a, 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 a sort of halfway house between the original machine and Contour 2. Now, if you recall, I told you last time that Contour 2 has a ratchet pedal here and it has that terrible bar that runs down to the uh, ratchet release, which is on this point here. And the original contour, the ratchet is actually part of the chassis. So underneath, if I can turn the machine round, and this is what I thought was the case with this one, that the ratchet was actually here on this point. Oh, there's a bit of fluff there, which I didn't get. Oh. Whoops. <laughs> Um, but it's not on this one. This is this is the 1.5. So as I say, it, it's the halfway house. How this particular cleaner's ratchet work works is given away by this um, piece of plastic here. You see, there's like these um, moulding lines here and and here. So this is what the ratchet actually interfaces with on on this cleaner. So. It's basically the Contour 2 chassis, but without the ratchet release pedal. What it's doing is there's um, like a, 
a really thick piece of nylon plastic. A, a, a thick piece of nylon. You don't need to say it's plastic because it is plastic. It's a thick piece of nylon, which is acting as a spring. And that is sort of integrated in, into the chassis section. Um, and these, like, really thick, they're really thick pieces of plastic. This moulding is really thick. Um, they sort of run over that, and you can hear it click. You know, click there, and then click. Um, and that's pushing a sort of uh, retainer arm into the body here. So hence why you are able to lock the body upright. And it just takes friction or force to release it. So that is much, much better than the original contours um, in, in the base of the chassis style ratchet. This won't wear out as fast as the original machines will. Obviously over time, either that piece of nylon or the chassis itself will break and you'll end up with a floppy hood, which nobody wants. Um, but it's, yeah, it's much more robust than the original machines were. So I thought I'd better cl clear that up because some people, I mean, some people you know, really know, they really know their cleaners. I'm, I'm, uh, I don't, I just make half of this up as I go along. Um, huh, there we go. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to say, you know, it's not the original Mark 1, it's a Mark 1.5, which I suppose in some respects makes it a bit rarer because I think 93 was the year they went over to Contour 2, so this style was probably made late 91 onwards, I think, something like that. It's re it's really hard to tell. These like little subtle changes, yeah, it's um, it's 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 quite hard to keep track of. You know, so many thousands of different vacuum cleaners and how they're made and everything. So yeah, but there we go. So it's a Mark 1.5. Um, I think I said in. The last video, I wasn't sure if there was a Z1400 contour. There was. That was the original machine from 1990. That may have possibly been the blue one. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, it's kind of hard hard to tell, but yeah. So there we go. That's like a little overview. Contour is working great. Uh, I'm, do you know what? I am really pleased with this cleaner. I think I'm now going to start to look out for the other contours. Probably won't start to collect contour two. They don't appeal so much as the earlier cleaners, but uh, yeah, I think Contour 1 and 1.5, they're, they're the ones to go for. As I've said previously, you know, these cleaners are starting to get rare now. They were common as muck 20, 25 years ago. Common as muck, you saw them everywhere, but now you just don't see them that often. So I think as time marches forwards, machines like this will actually start to increase in value because there will be fewer and fewer of them out there in the world. So that's enough waffling from me. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Hope, hope you've enjoyed seeing the contour back and um, in really nice shape. We're going to take it into the lounge now. We're going to give it a run. My carpets really do need cleaning. I haven't done it for like a week. It's just terrible. Um, don't forget to do the usual comment, subscribe, like, because it really helps me out and I appreciate it massively and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye bye.